<laughs> oh, hello there, boys and girls. As you know, December is upon us. Therefore, I've been looking very carefully at all of your Christmas lists that you've been sending to me. <laughs> Get them in the post before it's too late, kids. So, when I heard that, uh... Johnny was making a video about the top 10 Christmas gift ideas for bass players, I thought it would be a good idea to pop in and see what I can get for all of you low-end lovers out there. Oh! <laughs> uh, Johnny, jo Johnny, that, uh, that rings a bell. Uh, give me a second, uh, let me, uh... Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, well, anyway, I'm just about to shoot a video, so I'll, um, I'll call. Hi, my name's Johnny, and today we are going to have a... We <laughs> We're having a look at the top... 10 gift ideas for bass players. So if you're a bass player watching this, I presume you are, turn away now, turn away. Switch this video off. This is for all of the partners out there, friends, family, who are struggling for ideas for gifts for bass players. Or I suppose you bass players out there might wanna show them this video and give them some ideas of what you really want for Christmas this year. Speaking of, can you believe that it's December? Like, that's crazy. 2020 has been mad. It's been so bad and good, you know, for all different reasons. And many of us will be pleased to be getting it out of the way. Better times ahead. Okay, number one. Oh. Strings. Whether you want a pair of round wounds or flat wounds, it's always handy to have an extra pair of strings lying about. For me, as somebody who plays really aggressively with a pick, a fresh set of strings is absolutely essential. Strings can range from around 15 pounds all the way up to 40 pounds a set. Now with strings, obviously you get different brands and different types of strings and different gauges, different scale lengths. So it's really worth finding out the best set of strings or just telling the person that is buying you the present what set of strings you want because it's very easy to get it very wrong. Next up, a tuner. If somebody buys you a tuner, it's a bit like being bought shower gel or soap for Christmas. You kind of get that, oh, I stink then, do I? Oh, I play out of tune, do I? It's not meant like that. It's just a handy tool that every bass player should have. You know, whether it's a clip on one, if you're playing acoustically or through an amp or if you don't want any pedals or a pedal one from the floor. Now again, clip-on ones can be fairly affordable, but so can on the floor ones. I would be surprised if you guys don't already have a tuner, but if you don't, fantastic present for Christmas. Because it's not that fun of a product to buy for yourself, really. Next up, a headphone amp. If you've only got a massive bass rig at home and you can only play acoustically, You know, it doesn't sound that great, but with a headphone amp, simply plug it into your bass, plug your headphones in, and there you are. You have got your bass amplified straight into your ears. You can just bring your practicing to life at home. Of course, there are pedals out there and some amps out there that have headphone outs on there for you to do just that. But for those of you that don't, or maybe you want the portability of this, maybe you're going to a, in a hotel room or something like that, perfect. For practicing on the go. Next up, now there are many steps that you can take to bring a okay bass to a good bass to a great bass. One of those things is cleaning and conditioning your fretboard using lemon oil. The one I've got here is the Diodario Planet Waves Lemon Oil Cleaner and Conditioner. Love this stuff. You're able to clean up any kind of grime and give your fretboard a nice glossy feel to just glide up and down. You'd be surprised that you'd be surprised how much better your fretboard feels, looks, it's got that bit of a deeper, richer color to it, and smells. Ugh. Okay, next up, a bit of a more interesting one, and that is a custom scratch plate. Now, those of you who have watched my channel before know that I love customizing the cosmetics of my bases. For instance, my Squire Classic Vibe P-Base 
has a custom gold pit guard scratch plate, whatever you want to call it, on there, courtesy of the fantastic guys over at gig.ink. Now, I've shouted and raved lots about them on the channel before because I think they do a fantastic service. And I thought that would make a great Christmas present. You know, you can get those products where you put your face on a pair of socks or something. What a fun twist if you were to do something like that, put your pet, put your face, put a meme on there that you both find funny onto a scratch plate and give it to them for Christmas. Even if you were to just frame it or something like that, put it on the wall to display. A really fun present that and just takes it to the next level of effort over than just like a pair of socks or something. Hit the link in the description, go and check out gig.ink. You can upload custom images and have them printed on some pit guards. There's so much potential for really, really fun stuff. This episode is not sponsored by them at all. I just like recommending the things that I love. Next up is some tools. Now, you might think, why on earth am I gonna need some tools? That's like the most boring present ever. Well, blokes, proper blokes, love a good tool. I'm not a proper bloke at all, and I love tools and my, using tools on my base. For instance, I've got a little toolbox that I take to every single gig and it's got everything I could ever need in there, just in case. One of my favorite things at the minute whew, is this cute little bag. In here, I've got cloths, I've got Allen keys, I've got pliers, I've got bits of sleeves for cleaning the guitar. I've got a screwdriver, some very, very rusty pliers, so I could do with some new ones for Christmas. Now, if you're doing any kind of work to your base, you're gonna need these tools, especially different size Allen keys for doing a setup. Pliers or some snips, you know, some smaller ones are great as well for cutting down any stringage that is too long if you're getting too many wraps around that machine head. So a really essential tool, in my opinion, for all of you bass players out there. Next up, again, not a sponsor or affiliated with this video in any way, but I just love the things that they do, is some jewelry or a, or a key hanger from the Guitarist. What a incredible brand name. So the Guitarist do all sorts of guitar-based recycled products, as well as some really cool novelty key holders. You go on their website, you can check out all of the jewelry. They've got some stuff made out of old bass strings. They've got stuff made out of input jacks. Next up is ear defenders. Probably the least sexy item on this list. <laughs> ear defenders are absolutely essential for playing gigs. It's so easy to give yourself tinnitus, 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 however you want to say it. That ringing in your ears beep, that you get after a gig when you've been playing full volume is something that you really, really need to avoid if you want to preserve that musical ear of yours. And that is especially the case for us bass players. Often being tucked at the back next to the drum kit, they're going hell for leather, smashing the cymbals, basically you're in your ear hole. You know, those are the kind of frequencies and those high sounds, especially when you're cranking it up and playing really loud on stage, that you need to avoid and protect yourself against. There are loads of solutions for earplugs. There are specialist ones out there that are recommended for bass players that don't cut out the low frequencies as much and just protect you from those high ones. You can still hear yourself, feel yourself, to clarify, you're not blocking out all of the sounds so you can't hear anything on stage. You are just bringing it back down to a normal level. I've been playing with earplugs for years. When you take them out after you've been playing with them, you're like, oh my gosh, it's so loud. <laughs> Next up is a bit of a double entry because this one is a metronome slash drum machine. Now, drum machines are fantastic practicing tools for bass players. Sometimes I'll just create a beat on Logic and play along to it to practice getting in the groove and practice timing as well. Because after all, being part of the rhythm section, gelling everything together in the band, the bass is essential for doing that. So it's a really, really good tool and ability to practice. There are loads of different products on the market ranging in all different price ranges. Then on the other side, if you want to go a bit more traditional, maybe a bit quirkier almost, is to get a classic metronome. I've got one myself and I absolutely love how traditional that that traditional look that just keeps going that you can practice to and it makes a fantastic uh, ornaments for your home studio or just your living space as well okay this is getting really really annoying though now so I'm gonna stop it last but not least stands I 
Personally, I've got a guitar rack in my studio and it's an essential part of the room. Being able to just grab guitars on the go is just an essential part of my creativity. You know, if I'm able to just grab a guitar, switch a guitar out, grab it and play it, it just doesn't give me any barriers or excuses not to play bass. Of course, you can also get wall hangers. You can just drill them into the wall, put your bass on there. It sits nicely, it makes an amazing display. It's also just really, really accessible again as well. So that's it, top 10 presents or stocking fillers for bass players this year. A lot of those are not revolutionary and there are so many, so much more cables, picks, straps. There's a whole world of products and accessories out there that you can fill those stockings up with. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below what bass or guitar products you want for Christmas this year. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you again very soon. That's not what I say at the end. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you soon. Ah, got it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.